Hello, this is another tutorial for Macromedia Flash. Um, in this case I'm using Flash MX. What I want to do here is show you how you can have something watch your cursor, follow your cursor. And I don't mean like the things that drag around with your cursor, I'm talking like if you want the eyes to follow. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start here, I'm going to draw um, an eye. And so I'm just going to start with a circle. Um, and then I'm going to draw another circle inside and fill that circle with black. Well, I've got to choose black first. Okay, and now I want to make sure that my inside is filled with white here because I want this to be one solid button. Okay, so anyway, I've got my eye here and I'm going to insert, convert it to a symbol, and I'm just going to call this eyeball. It doesn't really matter what you call this one. Now, the other thing that I want to make sure of, and I should have done this in advance, but this is a good lesson, I can I want to do rotate, and I want to make sure that my eyeball is facing to the left. Um, there's a reason for that. If, if I had it facing another direction, it would be looking away from the cursor. Anyway, so that's my eyeball. It's actually now in my library. So I'm going to drag an instance of that out. Okay, now you can see I've got a problem here because I actually just rotated the instance and not um, the actual eyeball. So what I can do is I can double click to go into the eyeball and then from inside here if I rotate it over you'll see how it rotated both. That's because I'm changing the actual in the actual eyeball not just the instance of the eyeball. Okay, so here I've got my two eyeballs looking to the left. I can move them around um, and now what I want to do is I want to add an action and I'm going to add the action to the actual layer not to the eyeballs themselves. However, there is something I need to do on the eyeball. First, I'm going to right click, I'm going to go to properties and I'm going to call this eyeball I1. I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to call it I2. That way I can independently tell these things what I want them to do. I1 can do this, I2 can do this. Alright, so now what I want to do is I want to go up here and on my layer I'm going to right click and go to actions. And in my actions I have mine set to expert mode so that I can just go in here and type. That's what you may want to do too because what I'll do is I will actually put this code out there on the page and you can just copy and you should be able to just copy and paste. Okay, now what this code is doing is it's saying set variable A to be I1 and that's the Y mouse and B, I1, the X mouse and then set the angle with this math function and then set the property of the I to whatever the rotation it, it needed to be and then it does the same thing for I2. Obviously you don't have to do two eyes but you know that would just look funky. You can also do this trick with arrows or a spaceship or whatever it is you want to, to follow your mouse. Um, okay, so I've got this code typed in here, and I'm going to go now, and I'm going to add a second keyframe. All right, and in my second keyframe, the only action I need to type in there is go to and play one, oops, like that. Now, theoretically, this is going to work. Okay, now you see there's a background picture there, but you can see that it's following that. What I did is I stuck a background picture in because sometimes it's fun to add this on top of another picture. So if I turn that picture on and I move these eyeballs independently, I look like a Simpson. I've been Simpsonized. And now if I run it, well that's odd. Aha! I forgot to do this on that frame also. So this is going to be a little trickier. What I may have to do is turn on my onion skin up here. All right. So now what that does is it, it helps me match up perfectly where where I need it to be. So that's the onion skin. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and test it. All right. So now you can see it'll follow me around wherever I go. All right. And you can match this up with other tutorials. For example, I have a tutorial to make my cursor be um, something custom. So if you wanted it to look like a butterfly or um, a bee or, you know, whatever, somebody could follow it around. 
All right, so it's really that easy. Um, and obviously, I had a few little quirks and stuff. You're going to have a few little missteps as you do this the first couple times, but it can really do some neat things. Um, you can also, once you have this set, go back in and edit your eye. For example, if you want to, you know, take out your eye there and add in, let's say, a bigger eye, but you want to fill it with green. Now, notice it fills it on both sides. So now I want the next one to fill with black. Make it just a small dot here. Drag that over to the center. Well, that'll work. <laughs> and I'm going to test it now. Okay, I got a little off. Oh, you know why? What I did was when I went up in and put this in here, I didn't bring it up to the left. So I'm kind of making mine all funky now. <laughs> so anyway, go ahead and do this, and hope I hope you have better luck with it than I did. But you can see what it's supposed to do. Um, enjoy.